So AI is changing photography and photo editing. And instead of fighting it, I've made it part of my workflow. Here are five edits AI retouching does better and faster than manual retouching in Photoshop. I'll show you how using Evoto AI. Okay, let's do this. So the first edit is removing glasses glare. So anyone who shoots headshots knows how frustrating glasses glare can be. So if you haven't experienced it yet, save this video. When I'm shooting portraits or when I was shooting these photos, I even had to change my lighting setup just to avoid glare. And removing the glasses glare in Photoshop takes a lot of time. So in Evoto, just go to portrait retouching, under eyes, go down, just push the remove glasses glare slider to 100 and the glare disappears. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. Because I want it to look as realistic, I will slide it back to 90. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So Evoto is free. Use my link in the description below to download it and get free credits for exporting. And if you decide to buy more credits, use the code Eustace 20 to get up to 20% off your purchase. The second edit is air retouching. So manual air retouching is one of the most time consuming tasks. With Evoto AI, it's just a few sliders. So go to portrait retouching. So under hair, here, just go down, stray hairs removal. I'm going to take it to 100. This is the before, this is the after. Within figure outlines, I'm going to take it to zero. So this is the before, this is the after. Beyond figure outlines, I'm going to take it to 90. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Smooth hair, I'm going to take it to 40. So this is the before, this is the after. So this one here, I'm just going to leave it at 100. Hair shine enhancement, I'm going to take it to 100. Like this. White hair blackening, I'm going to take it all the way to 100 as well. Like this. So this is the before, this is the after. Let me just zoom out. Let's just look at it from here. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. The third edit is removing distractions. So if you have seen any of my videos where I'm showing you how I shoot portraits, I'm sure you've seen that I often shoot with my lights and stands close to my subject, which means sometimes the soft boxes, the stands and the lights, they end up in my photos. So you can clean them up in Photoshop, but it takes time. In Evoto, it's simple. Just go to background adjustments and then enable distraction removal. So if it can't detect the distractions, you can force it. Just click on auto detect and select distractions. So that's it. The light stands or soft boxes disappears in seconds and it will even extend your backdrop. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. You can even play with a clean backdrop. Let me just enable it so that you see what's going to happen like this. So it's going to fix the background, but I love the textures in my background. So I'm going to just disable this one here. So if I want, I can also play with a unify lighting here by clicking on this button here like this. And then just going to left click here and select solid backdrop here. So it's going to unify the lighting here. Here I can control how much of this effect. So I'll just leave it at 100. Here I can control the luminous, how bright I want this effect to be. I'm going to reset this one by double clicking on it like this. So I don't like this negative space here. I can just go on the crop and rotate. I'll crop it to four by five like this. And then maybe put it down here and then click OK. So the only thing I can do from here is just to export it. The fourth edit is basic retouching. So Evoto also handles small fixes that would normally take a lot of time in just seconds. So go to portrait retouching under blemish removal. Just go down. Just go down to neck wrinkles. So I'm trying to reduce some of these neck wrinkles here. So I'm going to take this to 100 like this. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. Let me even show you how to clean the armpits here or this side here. Let me just put it here. So I'm going to go to 
armpit touch up, you have to pay attention to this part. I want to take it all the way to 100 like this. So this is the before. This is the after. Let me just zoom out. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. So simple adjustments, but they make the portraits look polished. The fifth edit is retouching clothing. Go to clothes and accessories adjustments. I'm going to left click on it. Let me just zoom in like this. So you can see all these blemishes on my shirt. Trying to remove these marks or blemishes or imperfections on my shirt. In Photoshop, it will take me a lot of time. But in Evoto, I can just go under clothing adjustment, deblemish clothing. Let me take it all the way to 100 like this. So this is the before, this is the after. You've seen all the blemishes are gone on my shirt. This is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So from here I can also take the clothing edge smoothening all the way to 100. Let me just zoom out so that you see what's going to happen. Let me just put it maybe somewhere, somewhere here. On the clothing edge smoothening, I'm going to take it all the way to 100. See how the edges of my shirt here are looking now. This is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So this removes marks or imperfections on fabric and make the edges look cleaner and more professional. And here's a quick bonus for you, removing wrinkles. So with Evoto, you can retouch clothing wrinkles in just seconds. So first, let me just crop it by going to this crop icon, change it from original to 4x5 and then move it down somewhere here and then click OK. So go to clothes and accessories adjustment here. Under clothing adjustment, I'm going to go on the wrinkle clothing and take it all the way to 100 like this. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. The wrinkles are gone but I want it to look as realistic as possible so I'm going to take it back to maybe 70. I think this is much better. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. This is the before, this is the after. So fine wrinkles removal. I'm going to leave it at 100 and then deep wrinkles removal. I'm going to take it to maybe 70%. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. It's fast and often more realistic than manual retouching. If you want to try Evoto, you'll find the download link in the video description below. And if you'd like to see how I shoot amazing portraits before editing, you should check this video here.